Here we have an image that was cropped too tight. And what I want to do now is I want to um, expand the uh, background so that we won't uh, have uh, the subject uh, bumping up against the edges. So the first thing I want to do is I want to unclick, uh, make it so it's floating. As you can see, it's floating. And I'm going to go up and see what size this canvas is. It's, um, let's make this, let's make this um, 10, I'll make it 8. The height is 8 by 12. Say OK to that. So what we want to do now is increase the canvas size by 2 inches all the way around. So we'll make this 8, we'll make this 10, and we'll make this 4. Say OK. So now we have some blank areas around the image. It's probably more than we need to use, so I'm going to go ahead and just crop it down a little bit. Like this. Like that. And we don't need too much on the, uh, on the uh, front side, so we'll leave it at that and hit Enter. Uh, I'm going to use my selection tool and well first of all I'm going to bring down my guidelines and put them where I want I want this to go yes I want to be able to just be inside the border take my selection tool and I'll go around and select the inside and then I'm going to inverse so now we have the outside border all selected I'm going to use my magic wand and click on it and then I'm going to get rid of the guidelines We'll go over to Constant Aware Fill and say OK to that. And let's see what happens. I'm going to go Control D to deselect. So now we have, had, have added some to the canvas, but we have these areas here. We're going to uh, clone them out. I'll get my clone tool and I'll sample it here, get rid of that, and select it there, clone that out, I've got some repeats here so I, what I want to do is just make it more random. Maybe I want to do a little bit of uh, cropping just to get it where I want. Yeah. And there you go. It's, uh, we've added to it. Um, the uh, image is a little more relaxed. And there you have it.